Hello, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my shed. Well, where are we now with this little speed fight? Let's take a look what's done so far. We have the back shock changed and it works now. Kickstart, well, no. Okay, it's missing the small little pinion bit in there. Um, I'm not replacing it because the electric start works fine. We have the side stand on. This, however, is electronic pump. There's two sorts. That needs to go back up there somewhere. I'll get that sorted in a minute. The side stand works perfectly and I'm very happy with that actually. I know I've still got the rock on there, that's coming off in a second. As for the side stand, one bolt in there and two bolts there. Make sure they are tight, no messing around. And here we have a perfectly good working side stand. We'll demonstrate that in a second. Now for those who have a cable, often what happens, you're filling up with petrol. Put the keys there and you do this. And oh bugger. Next, you're ripping all this out. It's much easier if you can take these two bolts out. If you can't, you need to be able to squeeze your hand up here, up to here, and pull because this is where the mechanism is as we see now by taking this off and there's the mechanism and all you're really doing is pulling on the cable here you may squeeze your finger but it'll save you smashing the hell out of it and this is where the cable should go but this one here well it doesn't work because the key doesn't fit it so I'm going to burst that and then connect it back up again so then this will actually work the way it should. The cable should work through here. But there's a bit missing on this one, so I'm going to replace that. I don't like having it sort of like some sort of pull tie bit. Not if I still have the lock that we're going to reshape. Exhaust. Well, it's a lovely exhaust. And I did resitue it with a couple of extra washers. And allowed me to fit it on. A bit better but only one spring so of course it twists a little bit but I think it's a lot better so does it start now well I actually changed the carburetor this was the one that was on here and the person who owned it before said he put a 6 jet jet in it and it was messing around I'm gonna take that all apart and clean it because in the day I do want it to go on that one Anyway, back to this. Let's get it off the rock. Well, actually, let's see if it starts, shall we? Gone. Um, I don't love that, I must admit. Here we have the problem. Down here is the little bolt that hits on there. I'm going to see if I can tighten that up a little bit. I haven't got one of these ignitions. So I'm actually going to pop up town and get a couple of keys cut but does she start Have a look well it's a thumbs up a bit smoky didn't expect that a little bit of a tap there but that's nothing major a lot of loose bolts and uh, little bits and bobs. You see me slightly panic there, it started to move off the brick. <laughs> Rev up and go, right, let's get this brick out of the way, this show. Let's not throw everything off here, shall we? Oh. See, I don't get it right every time. Right, brick out the way. Side stand. Nice TNT side stand, that is. Always handy having a brick like this, actually. Just means you can start up and uh, test it without having a side stand. You always want to pull away. So, what is next? Well. I'm going to take this off. 
Remember that goes up, okay? You're gonna have to replace the lock. Take it from that one, or unless I've got one somewhere, there's that little catch on it. And I'm gonna burst this, okay? Put the vice, big screwdriver, burst it, and any key will get you in the back. 99 times out of 100, no one will ever check it anyway. You don't keep much in there, it's only to get petrol. I'd rather have a burst lock than no lock, and you can pull the cable it, okay? So let's get on with that. Just simply put in the lock, big screwdriver, pop it in. And there we go. One burst lock. All right, see that go there? There we go. Now that would be enough to get a key in there and turn it. All right, and that would be enough for you to do. I'm happy with that. I might tidy that a bit back up a bit, you know, just flatten it down a little bit. So now, look at my spares. Key. Put it in. Turns. So this now will go on here as well. It won't do the ignition, obviously, because it is a Peugeot key, but it won't do the ignition. But it will pop it in and it will do the lock. I'm happy with that. That will go with that now. Now, it's silver and it's pretty bashed up. I've got a video already of spraying, prepping panels. It's not snowing outside anymore, thank God. Take all the stickers off, rub all this down, and spray it black or white. It's got silver here. I have some silver spray, you know. I might actually just silver it up a little bit. Shame about the decals, they're a bit battered though. Anyway, and I've also got to spray this bit here. As you see, that's a matte black, so I'll spray that and spray that black. Match that black as well. And then it'll be a black and white bike. Didn't have one of these, so this will go in the back now. That's always handy to have. You know, it's, it should go in here like this, so when it's all together, it'll look a lot better. Let's get all this back together. We'll tighten it up as well. But so far then, And once all the panels are back on that bike, then I might have a look at this one. It's a bit more battered, isn't it? As we heard, it grinds. These snake locks are brilliant, but this key, just another dub key in it. But I might actually use another couple of parts from oh, that one I've got under there. It's handy having it, you know. Someone said to me earlier about having parts on a bike, and I think it's a great idea just keep them on spare if you've got them, which I have. Splitting the engine, this would be a bit of a bugger, I'll tell you. But uh, hey, I've got an empty shed. It's done. It's sprayed and cleaned up. I'll uh, when I've done the when I start on this one, I would have finished that one by then, and I'll show you how good that looks at the end of it. Because at present minute, it still doesn't look brilliant. But I'm going to reconnect this and sort it all out. It should look quite nice. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Keep making them.